Hey you guys. Good morning. Uh, I am not a YouTuber, but I am bored. <laughs> I love that hashtag, that little phrase situation. I am not a YouTuber, but I am bored. And maybe I one day I'll explain that. But anyways, I am on my way to work per usual. And um, I got a new book that I'm going to start reading. So I'm happy about that. Um, I realized that I lack discipline. And when it comes to stuff that's like not that serious. If it's that serious and I need to do something and I require discipline. I can definitely exercise discipline. But something that doesn't have any consequences, I have a hard time being disciplined. And I say that to say, you know, I don't really do New Year's resolutions anymore, but I am looking for ways to improve myself every day. Um, and and um, going to the gym has been more difficult for Shago and I recently and so I'm just like okay if I can't get my physical health right what can I do that's easy that I can't make any excuses for and reading takes no energy you know what I mean so I was like well you could pick up a book you know you can read so I actually ordered the wrong book I wanted the first book that Tomi Adeyemi released um I don't know what the hell I'd be thinking, but I ended up ordering the second book that she released. And I don't know if I'm supposed to read the first one first and then this one, but I'm just going to go ahead and start reading this until I uh, order the first book. But this morning when I woke up, I was trying to figure out what I would talk about. Making these YouTube videos the way I'm making them work so much better for me, like not having to worry about editing just doing like a one-time take it is what it is and just like <laughs> said you know whatever you get on this video is what you're going to get and i just want to like reiterate and mention that this page on my youtube videos remember i'm not a youtuber i'm just bored um is for your regular schmegler like just your regular schmegler and regular schmegler doesn't mean that you're any less than anybody else but we are just on a different wavelength we are on a different energy level and we are just regular people who miss the old days okay and i know i'm like holding my hand real funny but i am freezing i didn't warm my car and i'm like on my way to work i'm cold but this channel is for your regular schmegula, okay? Okay? <laughs> and we do corny shit like that because we're not cool, okay? Um, yeah, I forgot what the hell I was saying. So anyways, I'm going to be reading the book. I woke up this morning and I was trying to figure out what I would talk about on the video. I'm so much, I'm so happy that I can just come on YouTube, create a video and just post it and don't have to worry about editing and all of that. And when I woke up this morning, per usual, the first thing that I did was I grabbed my phone and I'm scrolling through, through Instagram and stuff like that. I spent maybe anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes just scrolling through. Um, and I realize when I do that, I wake up like right, like maybe within the first one to two minutes that I wake up, I'm happy. And then after 30 to 40 minutes of feeding my mind with things that are none of my business, I start to get a little anxious. Um, not sad, not depressed, because there's nothing that I see that I want or can't have or, you know, isn't coming my way at some point in time. But I just start to get anxious. Like, I just start getting, like, I just start thinking. I start having racing thoughts and um, obviously really unhealthy. And I was just like, damn, what can I do to, like, start my morning off on the right foot? 
you know? Like, what is a healthy way to start your morning? You know, should I watch the news? You know, watch CNN? I really don't want to do that because CNN also makes me very anxious. Just all the news and horrible things going on in the world. Like, ignorance really is bliss sometimes because the more you know, just the angrier you get. So I'm like, no, I'm not really trying to start my morning off watching the news. Like, I'm sure it's good for me as an adult to be informed but at the same time I don't I might watch the news in the middle of the day or maybe as soon as I get back from work but definitely not right when I wake up and right when I'm about to go to sleep because I just get too anxious should I meditate I think meditation is a great way to start off your morning um obviously I should pray um and not just say pray but like actually pray because people be like oh I was praying about it you didn't say no you did not pray okay thinking about it i don't know if thinking about it is the same thing as praying but i don't think so i feel like you need to actually pray so i feel like starting off your morning with praying okay um what else like i said the gym thing wasn't really working out or hasn't been working out lately i do think the weather has something to do with it because i just did not function well in the cold but what is a good way for me to start off my morning? So I've been listening to uh, Oprah's uh, podcast. I think it's called like Soul Conversation or Super Soul Conversations or Mindfulness Class. I'm not sure. Um, Oprah has so much going on nowadays as far as wellness um, is concerned. And obviously that's her goal in life. And she's doing a great job at it. So... After I spend 30, 40 minutes on my phone, I get up and I turn on my podcast. I put it on the speakerphone. I get in the shower and get ready to come to work. And um, she always has really interesting topics. And today I was listening to a podcast with her and Lady Gaga. But then I ended up finishing by listening to her and Dr. Phil. And um, long story short, on the podcast with her and Dr. Phil, they had different people coming on the topic was like living your best life or something like that or how to be a star in your life and um there was a lady that came on and she was asking for advice and she was saying how she whew, she was saying how she was looking for love and she found a guy and she you know she really wanted the relationship and she sent the guy thousands of dollars to come on like a cruise with her or something like that and the guy did not show up and upon further questioning um upon further the way the squirrels hop across the street is so cute like the way squirrels okay i'm sidebar i'm watching a squirrel across the street anyways um she sent the guy thousands of dollars to come on a cruise with her. He didn't come. And as the story developed, that same squirrel just almost got hit by a car. As the story developed, turns out she actually hadn't met the guy yet. She met him eventually and then sent him the money afterwards. And then he was supposed to meet her. And he didn't meet her. And I couldn't see the lady because this is a podcast. But from the sound of her voice, she sounds like she's definitely well above the age of 30. And I'm just like, good grief, like in 2020 or 2019 last year, you're telling me grown ass women are still making these kind of crazy decisions for love. And I'm almost at my destination, so I'm going to cut this conversation short because I spent the first half of this video just ranting about nothing. But, oh my God, like. I understand the process is different for everyone as far as learning and as far as relationships is concerned, but it's never that serious. And I have been noticing a lot of strong, beautiful, single ladies that have just come to a point in their life where they would rather be alone and take good care of themselves than to put themselves into a relationship and be miserable. And kudos to y'all. More power to you guys. Y'all are the real MVPs. And do not let social media or anything else tell y'all 
otherwise. Y'all are winning, okay? You are strong and you refuse to settle for less and you rather be happy or bad all by yourself than to settle for a relationship, sending a man thousands of dollars and then he, he didn't show up. He did not show up. Like what? So what did he does he is he gonna cash her like cash app her back the money? Is he gonna pay her back? I don't know. But ladies, you can do bad all by yourself, okay? You do not need to be doing desperate things for the love or of a man. Cause you're only gonna you're just gonna hate yourself, like you're gonna hate yourself <laughs> been there done that all right anyways i'm at work i love having these conversations with myself every morning um i did it yesterday and it was actually very helpful i felt a lot better um throughout the rest of the day um i could have these conversations with my husband but when I express these thoughts to him, he really takes it on and feels like it's his job to make me happy. And he's always like trying to find a solution. Not that I'm not happy, but I just don't want to put my stress on him. Um, Cause you know, a real man is an action man. Uh, that's a action energy. Men have action energy. So when you tell them something, if you're concerned about something, a real man will try to do something about it. And they will try to find a solution for it. And that's the type of man that Shagun is. And I just don't want him to feel like he has to, you know. You know, Jada Pinkett said you got to be happy on your own. Your partner has to be happy on their own. And then you come together and enjoy in each other's happiness. So, anyways, I hope you all are having a good morning and will have a good day. It's so cold. My stethoscope is frozen. Look at this. Anywho, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.